birthday, Bella. All right, everyone, let's sing happy birthday for Bella. Oh. Sorry, I just really hate that song. We don't have to sing it if you don't want us to. But Bella, you gotta hear my ta-ta-tas. Happy birthday to you. You don't cha, have cha, to. Cha. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Bella. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. Day is due, and remember, you'll be writing a narrative on how your parents met, analyzing the traits you've inherited from them, and please don't forget your baby photos. Miss Scott, we just moved to a new house and everything's in boxes, so I probably. Catherine, if your phone was in one of those boxes, you'd find it, now, wouldn't you? Now, everyone, if you do not bring in a baby photo, we'll be forced to use the school logo instead. Now, you wouldn't want your face next to a Manatee, would you? I know I wouldn't. I'm pretty sure I have this project in the bag. I, I took a test thing last Christmas, and I had to like spit into this bottle. I <laughs> Josh, that's so gross. Shut up. Anyways, I found out that I was a product of a one night stand. Cool, right? Bella, what'd you find out about your parents? Oh, actually, I haven't started the project yet. I don't know how I'm gonna get the story. Why don't you just ask your parents? I can't. Dude, she doesn't have a dad. Sorry. Well, maybe your mom has some sort of secret boyfriend and- There's no secret. Oh, okay. You could just make it up. It's not that easy. This isn't even hard though. If you just listen- I'm adopted. Oh, that's why your mom's late. Mystery solved. Was it something I said? You can't say that. Whatever, shut up. You can't. Assignment? You have no idea. Maybe I can help? Thanks, but I doubt it. I like your jacket. Oh, thanks. You should go thrifting with me sometime. I've got a ton of these for cheap. Family Appreciation Week. Ugh, we all hated Scott for assigning that. She's such a dick. No kidding. It's like walking through hell. I mean, what am I supposed to do? I've got a single mother, so the mom meets dad narrative is screwed. Catherine was the result of a hookup. Josh is apparently from South Africa. Like, I'm not cool like they are. And I can't compare my traits to my parents because I don't even know what they look like. I'm adopted, for God's sake. I'm gonna be the only one in class with the stupid school logo next to my picture. A stupid ass manatee. I was in the same boat. And my family had to 
flee our country because of the war, we lost all our photos. But here's the thing about projects like this. The whole point of the baby picture is to show where you come from, right? So what's another thing you can put next to your school picture to show where you come from? Yeah, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so recapping everything, we have Mailman Dad, Supermodel Mom, Victoria's Secret Supermodel, of course, um, New York City Fashion Week, Bar, Hotel, Hookup, Me! So more of the story. Um, my parents were forced to get together after they hooked up. Thank you! Best mistake they've ever made. That was very informative, Catherine, thank you. Uh, next up, we have Bella. My mother did not have the typical whirlwind romance that led to a happy family. She visited Guatemala to help improve her Spanish and it held a special place in her heart. 10 years later, she returned to meet, well, me, the three-year-old child she was to adopt. I don't look like her much but I'd like to think that I inherited her passionate and hardworking spirit. And most importantly, I've learned to listen to other people so that I can truly understand them and their situations. That's what's made me who I am today. As for my baby picture, well, I don't have one. The foster care home that took me in didn't get any pictures of me. Instead, I decided to include a picture that I want for my future. I may not ever know what I looked like back then, but I know who I want to be like. 